We are going to check one more program on recursive. In this program, we are going to write a recursive program for calculating factorial. So we already know that what factorial is. So 5 factorial is basically 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. So total 5 iterations and so every time we are multiplying these values and the output will be factorial of 5. So in the program, I am asking user to enter a value and it will be stored in n and then after that, I am just simply printing factorial is percent d and then i am calling function inline fact inside of bracket i am passing n so let us see what we are doing in fact function as we already know that in case of recursive functions we need to specify a condition where operations will be terminated in this case we can terminate function calls when your iteration number reaches either this value that is n or this value which is 1 in this case i have considered when n is equal to is equal to 1 i am just going to simply return n else i am going to calculate f is equal to n which will be this value that is value of n in the current call multiplied by another call in which i am going to reduce the number by 1 so in the first call the call is fact inside of bracket 5 so call will go here so we know that n is equal to 5 and because this condition is false 5 is equal to is equal to 1 so this block will be executed so what is going to happen now this operation will be halted because compiler has to wait for this execution because this value has to get evaluated first so what is happening over here is f is equal to 5 5 multiplied by then this value need to be calculated which is factorial of n minus 4 so fact of 4 so again same conditions will be checked now 4 is passed over here so this condition is false again and what we have now is 4 multiplied by factorial of 3 so same process goes on we have 3 multiplied by factorial of 2 then 2 multiplied by factorial of 1 now once this call is made this condition will be true and function will return me 1 so this will be substituted as 2 multiplied by 1 so this 2 will be returned over here this will be substituted as 3 multiplied by 2 which is equal to 6 this will be passed over here then 4 multiplied by 6 which is equal to 24 that will be passed to this function so we get the final value as 5 multiplied by 24 which is equal to 120 so this statement is executed which was our first call and then f will be returned so 120 will be replaced over here and then output will be factorial is 120.